right, let's make some crepes. Why am I cutting strawberries, you ask? Well, I prefer making all of my toppings before I start making my crepes. So they can be warm and you can put your toppings on there and it's fantastic. So I have two cups of fresh organic strawberries here that I just cut up. Let me remove the tops over there, set it aside. Um, here's a small saucepan. We're gonna put one cup of water in here. Um, after putting the water, we're gonna go ahead and put the strawberries directly into the water and add a cup of sugar on top of that. This is going to sit here and boil nice and mixed together for 10 minutes. In this 10 minute time, the strawberries are pretty much gonna dissolve into the liquid, but we're not making a jam, we're not making a preserve, so we need to strain this out. I have this little container that we're gonna use I prefer glass containers for my syrup because it's less sticky, kind of, sort of. Okay, so we're putting a funnel in here, putting a strainer. Be very careful because this is very hot and you can burn your fingers. We're gonna strain the syrup. Now, when we're separating the chunks of strawberries from the syrup that we've just made, don't throw away the strawberries. We're gonna use that later. So keep a separate container that you can separate those strawberries for us to put in the crepe. All right, put a little lid on this. We're gonna set it aside and let it cool. Get a glass bowl or a metal bowl that you can stick in the fridge for about 20 minutes and separate about however much whipped cream that you really want. I don't like to add sugar in my whipped cream. I'd rather it have no flavor, just plain, because that strawberry syrup is very, very sweet. Very, very, very sweet. All right, so we're gonna whisk this together until the peaks form on the whipped cream and they stay. Then you wanna put that in the fridge, not freezer, so that it keeps its form. All right, for the crepes, one cup of unbleached flour, two nice large eggs. We're gonna put that together, combine it as best as you can, and when it starts getting kind of difficult to stir, add half a cup of milk. Keep mixing that together. We're gonna add to that a half a cup of water. Um, by the way, this gets kind of difficult to mix, so brought out that mixer again, making it a little easier, which probably was a mistake. I made, anyway, I'll explain later. All right. After that half a cup of water, we're gonna put a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. I prefer Himalayan salt, that's why my salt looks pink. I'm gonna blend that together. Make sure it's nice and evenly blended. You don't want chunks in your crepes. All right, let's get two tablespoons of butter in there. That might have been a little bit less than two tablespoons, but I'm using this Amish butter, so it's pretty good. It's very, very smooth. I leave it out so it's already room temperature, but most people don't do that. So make sure it kind of gets to room temperature before you mix it in. We're gonna blend this up. All right, that, that looks good. Using a griddle, try to pour even thin amounts of, um, of your batter. Now here's where I went wrong. I made pan crepes. I did not make crepes. These are pan crepes, kind of in between pancakes and crepes. So they're a little fluffier, but if you like that, then that works. Um, I was not going for this originally, but they, they're they still okay. They're edible, that's what's important, right? Okay, let's get these off there before they burn. It doesn't take very long for them to cook. All right, here's your plate. I'm gonna put a couple of these on there. This recipe will actually make enough for three people, maybe four people, maybe just one person. It depends on how much you like them. See, we saved those strawberries, we put those in the middle. We're gonna add some of that syrup that we made that's fresh and now it's cooled so it's not terribly hot. And on top of that, let's put a little bit of that whipped cream we made. Mm. Voila, these are crepes.